All right, folks, here it is, the big reveal. Um, I'm going to start this off by saying just do your own research. Uh, and by that, I mean just research dry aging, what that entails, what it is, how it works. Um, you literally have the power of the Internet on your in your pocket right now on your cell phone. Uh, do it before you go to bed. Just read about it um, and it'll take you a long way. Uh, I will also say that most of the information I got was from Jess Pryles, uh, who's the uh, the uh, very uh, fantastic uh, cook and barbecuer um, behind uh, Hardcore Carnivore. Uh, I will also say that my go-to seasoning for all of my brisket is usually a combination of uh, Meat Church, Holy Cow, a little bit of Hardcore Carnivore, carnivore Black, um, which is a staple. And uh, I'm really happy with that. I prefer that method over your traditional Texas style brisket, uh, which everybody likes to do or whatever. Like you, you can have your own opinion on it. That's just what I happen to do myself. Uh, but before you go out there and kill yourself and have something that like is disgusting or doesn't work out, uh, I wanna preface this with if you see mold, it's usually not a good thing. Uh, white mold uh, can be good. If you ever see black mold in general, throw it away. Just discard it. It's a loss. Don't even bother dealing with it. Um, again, do a lot of research. I did a bunch of research before I jumped into this. Again, I've been doing this for only a year. I pretty much built this fridge in January of this year. Uh, so I haven't been doing it for too long. Uh, and I'm just showing you a fridge right now. So without further ado, I wanted something that looked nice. This is my office. Um, so I want it to be, you know, I've got these nice teak sort of shelves, uh, wire racks in here. Uh, I have a couple of uh, uh, humidifiers and uh, not humidifiers, but like uh, humidity readers, uh, barometers, if you will, that tell me the temperature. And then up in here, I do actually have a temperature uh, which I can set for the actual fridge itself. Uh, I don't trust that. I don't know how accurate it is. So I've got a couple fail saves just to make sure I'm keeping it under uh, 40 degrees, which is really where you want to go uh, and where you want to keep it. I like to just put my meat in here and write on in a little sort of like chalk marker that I use uh, to tell me when I put it in, a little bit about it, what the weight was, um, how it went in, what it was after I trimmed it, if I trimmed it before. But generally the rule of thumb is you don't want to season it, you don't want to do anything to it. You just want to put it in here. Um, I have a couple of USB fans that are hooked up. You can see them, actually they just literally slid right through the door. Uh, I keep them on high. One is on the bottom shelf, one is up in the top shelf here. Uh, and I did that to go ahead and just circulate the air in here. Uh, I'm in Washington DC, so the temperature gets pretty humid no matter what we do. Uh, I also have about 180 gallons of saltwater tanks in my office right now. Uh, I keep aquariums and uh, it's really humid just in my office, in my house. Uh, in general, uh, humidity is not an issue that I have to worry about. I even have a small little one right here. Uh, I've got water down here in an auto top off container uh, that goes through. For me, humidity is not an issue. I don't need to put a humidifier in here. If I do, there's like $15 ones that you can get on Amazon. You can put them in the bottom. Some people do kosher salt in a pan to keep their humidity under control. Again, do a little bit of research. You definitely want to keep it 40 or under degrees in terms of temperature wise. You want to keep your humidity, I think about 80%. Uh, percent. Um, not a problem for me. Uh, I do pretty good in here. Actually, as you can see right now, I'm actually reading 80 on my digital one. Um, and I'm reading just a little above on my manual uh, barometer over here. Uh, and, and pretty much that's it. The meat goes ahead and it will, uh, it will age. It will develop a pellicle. One thing that I did different uh, that I'm not sure if everybody else does, is I got a little bit of pellicle, some cuttings from a dry aged steak that my buddy did. Uh, and I threw them in here uh, to season the fridge, if you will. This is a dedicated fridge. This is 100% only meat that goes in here that is ready to age. That's all that this fridge has seen. Uh, so outside of making sure it's the right humidity, out sure of making sure, outside of making sure that the airflow in there is good and it's the right temperature, uh, that's pretty much the exact thriving environment, seasoned environment that the meat needs in order to cure, in order to season, in order to dry age in here. Um, again, you can do this really cheap at home. It doesn't have to be a nice fridge like this. Uh, I just wanted something that was going to look nice. Uh, again, because it's in my office, people see this. Uh, it's right behind my desk. Um, and I wanted it to look a little bit classy. Uh, and I, I think I'd accomplish that. Uh, all in all, everything in here was under 
four hundred dollars. Uh, the fridge was probably the most expensive part of it. It was about three hundred dollars. I got it over COVID. Things were a little more expensive than uh, normally. This fridge should, I think, be a lot less. Um, again, that's just my opinion. As you can see in here, you can kind of see like some of that fat that stuck around and, and stuck to the shelves in here. Uh, my glass is a little bit dirty on the inside because I haven't cleaned it out since the last time I took that brisket out and did it. You can probably see the fans down here sitting on my shelf. If, I don't know if you can or not. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be complicated. You could do in this. This is also a mini fridge I use. I brew beer at home. Um, I use this to hold my yeast and my hops and other things. I got some cheeses in here. I've got some whatever, like, uh, but you could do it in this fridge. You could do it in this fridge. You could do it in a big fridge if you wanted to hold like really big primal cuts. Uh, and I'll just finish this off with saying you don't want to do, uh, you don't want to do uh, small cuts. You don't want to do like an individual steak or an individual like slice or chunk of brisket. Reason being is it'll just dry out all the way through too quick. Uh, and then you won't actually have anything to, to trim off of it. Um, it shouldn't be expensive. You can buy thousands of dollars worth of, I think their name is actually Dry Agers. They're a Facebook group. The reason I even did this and started doing it myself and even started looking into researching how to do it myself is because my buddy has a, a Dry Ager. Uh, which he loves by the way. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, they have an app They have I think a UV light that they put inside there a lot of bells and whistles things that you don't need um, You can have them if you want them But for me, I just figured that this had to be a technique that we've been doing for thousands of years and why are we complicating it by uh, you know Pioneering technology that we don't need to in order to cook. I think this should be accessible to absolutely everybody um, so yeah, I've talked for a lot. It was a lot of video. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. Feel free to ask up in the, in the, uh, the forum, this chat that I'm really talking about it. But, um, yeah, anybody should be able to do this. It should be accessible. It should be well within your budget. Uh, just don't kill yourself and don't have any mold on there and you should be good to go. Uh, other than that, it's, it's really straightforward. Just do a little bit of reading and, uh, this is my setup. This is how I did it. You should be good when you ask what my process was for that brisket uh, i literally put the brisket right out of the package patted down with some paper towels uh and i threw it in here and i forgot about it um until i took it out and then i trimmed off all the hard parts on the outside all that pellicle uh, i made tallow uh, out of the fatty pieces that i could salvage and, and keep and you know the underneath parts that i trimmed off uh, but just like a regular brisket was my process after that so get out there have fun cook smoke um, keep on adventuring, keep on trying new things and, uh, yeah, have a great week.